1 Timothy 5, 9 to 16 today, Paul zeroes in on the fourth question from yesterday, which widows should the church support financially? And he gives three qualifications and some instruction. It's a long paragraph, so we'll have to move quickly. Well, the first qualification, let a widow be enrolled if she is not less than 60 years of age. If a widow is young, she might remarry or work and doesn't need the support of the church. Second qualification, having been the wife of one husband. Well, just as deacons and elders are to be faithful to their wives, so widows supported by the church should have been faithful to their husbands. And these supported widows are likely serving the church and should model Christ-likeness. Third qualification, and having a reputation for good works. If she has brought up children, has shown hospitality, has washed the feet of the saints, has cared for the afflicted, and has devoted herself to every good work. Paul says widows should be enrolled in the church's support if they have a reputation for Christian service. Well, now he gives some instruction. But refuse to enroll younger widows, for when their passions draw them away from Christ, they desire to marry, and so incur condemnation for having abandoned their former faith. This is a tough phrase. This either means that younger widows may be tempted by their physical passions to marry an unbeliever, or that supported widows have committed to serve Christ in this stage of life, and they'll have to go back on that commitment if they remarry. Paul says, besides that, they learn to be idlers, going about from house to house, and not only idlers, but also gossips and busybodies saying what they should not. A widow who's young and healthy enough to remarry or work should not be supported by the church, because then she may be tempted to use her time in idleness, which tends to lead to sin. So Paul says, I would have younger widows marry, bear children, manage their households, and give the adversary no occasion for slander. For some have already strayed after Satan. If any believing woman has relatives who are widows, let her care for them. Let the church not be burdened so that it may care for those who are truly widows. Paul comes back to where he started two paragraphs ago, saying that uh, believing women should care for the widows in their families. Those with no one to care for them and who meet the qualifications above, Paul said should be supported by the church. Let's stay rooted in the word.